Hello everyone, my name is Hilda. Welcome back to my channel for something else. Today I have the, uh, a new, a brand new um, watercolor palette. Um, and it's literally brand new because I've never actually used paint by this brand before. And this is the Watercolor Confections um, Complexion Palette by Art Philosophy. I got this on the dreaded Amazon. I'm not gonna lie because that was uh, basically... Uh, basically, if I bought it on there, I paid about six euros in customs um, at all checkout. And that was it. If I had bought it from the brand directly, I would have paid 35 plus euros in customs. So Amazon it was, even though I don't actually like Amazon. But yeah, there's 12 colors in the pan and I swear I will put on more light momentarily. But uh, yeah, that will be mega glare if I, if I don't. These are their social media information, but I will link the brand down below and um, then you will be able to see. But yeah, let's get into it. I have opened it up and looked at them, but I've not actually swatched them or used them. So I'm coming up very bite-sized palette. <laughs> I'm saying bite-sized because I have two bite-sized uh, makeup palettes by Too Faced and I'm pretty sure they're about the same size. I'm actually gonna get one and compare now. Literally for shits and giggles, but um, yeah, so no, the bite size palette is even smaller. <laughs> but I'm guessing not that much smaller. So it's, uh, <laughs> if you're a makeup lover and you're into Too Faced, it's slightly bigger than a bite sized palette and uh, obviously much wider. <laughs> okay, those shenanigans aside, I need to put away my makeup. But yeah, um, let's open this guy up and have a look. So it's pretty much like what you would expect from a regular water to color tin, to be honest. It comes with a swatch card. So I suggest I put these together and we swatch them. So here's a bit of a handy trick. This comes out so you could clean it if you wanted to, if you really muck it up. So it's easier to just slide them out this way if they're like really stuck. And also this is really handy because these are regular sized pans. Because uh, when I was at school, because I took it along and showed my teacher. Um, so you could, um, if you wanted to, um, just take these out temporarily and put 12 colors of your choice in there because it's very, very handy for travel. So yeah, um, also this is an entire range of different ones, but I've only got the complexion one. So yeah, back to unpacking and setting up, ready for swatching. Contrary to um, most watercolor palettes, which are just uh, basically wrapped in paper, this is wrapped in plastic. Um, Underneath the paper, I mean. I'm not sure how I feel about that. It sounds like a lot of extra waste. Well, it is, so meh. <laughs>
I basically made a page with 12 faces and um, I realized that black is one of the colors so I'm probably just going to do one black and white and use black as a detailing um, rather than actually paint with it. Um, I'm probably going to do that on shock here and they're like just uh, stuff from reference that I drew and uh, yeah, <laughs> it's Madame Leota, um, just like random Christmassy things, oh, lock, oh, sorry, lock, shock, barrel, little kawaii Krampus, uh, nutcracker, some uh, a Phantom Manor ghost, and then the bride from Phantom Manor, um, and Lani from Prep and Landing, which is my all-time favorite Christmas movie. Not that I'm super into Christmas movies, but. I really, really like Prep and Landing. That that is um, that holds a special place in my heart because it's just so ridiculous. It's so tinsel. Okay, I'll stop now. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, if you see me get out a pencil like this, this is a Dale Rowney Aquafine pencil. So, um, brush, sorry, not a pencil, a brush. So yeah, and the other ones are Cosmotop Spins by Da Vinci. Um, yeah. Let's get into it. I have put my palette on the side to uh, get rid of the glare, basically.
So here's my conclusion of the uh, complexion palette. I've left it a few days, so everything could really, really dry. I have put everything together. First and foremost, um, these were really loose inside, like properly loose. I took them to class with me. Do apologize for the glare in the tin, by the way. Um, I took them to class with me and several were just in there because they had come undone and they were flapping all over the place, shook, shook about, uh, just from sticking my backpack in their tin. Whereas my regular watercolor tin, um, nothing had moved at all. And that's also this kind of tin, just way, way bigger because it has, I think, 20 plus colors in it. That aside, so... Mm, I wasn't excited about that. I ended up using some double-sided tape and physically sticking them in place. Also, this was very loose inside. And, well, I, I will show you because it's just... Um, I have put some double-sided tape here, which is the most raised area, meaning that it's slightly more put, but not that well put because there's only, like, one raised part, so... Unlike these, which are all flat, it's harder to stick it in place. As for the swatches, I really love these colors. What I will say, they are very chalky, most of them. If you just go over them with your finger, you can feel it. Especially this pink, this lemonade. Super, super chalky. So, they say they are artist quality and good for professional painting. I have my doubts about that. Most of them are pretty light fast, so that's good. Um, also, I mean, if you don't already own these colors, then I would say that this is probably a good palette. If, if you don't mind, the, it goes on super smooth. It's just a bit chalky when it dries, and you also notice it when you go over with a fine liner. But that said, um, if, if that's all stuff that doesn't bother you, um, I would say have a look at them. Um, if you already own a lot of watercolors, you will likely have similar paints. Because I have several that are very similar. Not exactly the same. Nothing is exactly, I mean, other than black. I mean, <laughs> obviously. Um, Nothing is exactly like other paints I have, but it's very, very similar. So maybe maybe lemonade is like more of an original color, so to speak. But so yeah, um, I'm glad I own them because I like playing around with them. I enjoyed making this little piece a lot. But in the end of the day, were they an absolute must? No, no, but they are fun paints. What I also noticed when I checked it, um, because the thing is, I bought these on Amazon, like I said, um, but Amazon does not sell the singles. So I went on the website and had a look in their single section, and none of the colors in here are available as a single. So that is also a big downside. Also, um, it dried really nicely. That is also a bonus. Um, it gradiates well. Also good. And um, yeah. The fine liners really react to it very well because I used Copic fine liners, I used Pentel brush sign pens, Pentel touch. I've, I've seen seen different names on the pen and on the package of the pens, so I'm not entirely sure what they're called anymore. Um, I also used this this glitter fine liner. I think those are by Copic or the same brand. In any case, the same brand that does Copic. I used some very fine, as you can see here, some very fine um, Sakura Pigma Microns. I think an 0.1 even, or an, yeah, pretty much that was an 0. Pretty sure that was an 0 0.1. And they all went over very, very smoothly without clogging. With other paints, some other paints, they don't go over that smoothly. Well, the Pentel, um, the Pentel ones will, but. And bear this in mind, if you look into those, those are not um, waterproof. They will run and they, they won't like start running if you go over a paint and they won't reactivate the paint. At least I have not noticed them doing that. But if you end up saying like, oh, I if, if I were to, do to want to paint this, I would reactivate all that gray. So, um, and make it... Uh, a mess, basically. So that's something to bear in mind. 
whereas Copics and Sakura, uh, Copic Fine Liner and Sakura Pigma Micron will not do that. And that glitter stuff doesn't either, I think. I'm not sure, I've never tried it. <laughs> so yeah, that was it. My uh, tryout, swatch and review video of the Prima Marketing Art Philosophy uh, Complexions palette. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely had fun doing this. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this video or if you just want to leave a comment, go ahead. But if you do leave a comment, please be kind and I will see you in the next one. Bye!